And now it's time for our featured story of the night. All right. It is time for our featured story. And with that, we have not talked about this. But let's get into the Netflix special. And I'm going to call this When Harry Met Megan. So, <laughs> oh God. Harry went on an interview finally. First interview, sit down by himself, talking about the whole story with his, you know, Nef- with Netflix special, with his book coming out, about his family and what he's been doing and how he feels about it and his disconnect from the royal family. And here's what he had to say in his recent interview, straight from Harry's mouth himself. Uh, He was saying that he was relieved that it was complete, the Netflix documentary and the book Spare, one being our story and one very much being my story. They were look back projects, he explained. They were necessary. They were essential for historical fact. I don't want my kids or other people at that age growing up thinking, oh, wow, that's what happened. Yeah. And he actually went on to say a little bit more about the process. It's been a painful process. Cathartic at times, but going back over old ground to be able to get these projects right has taken a lot of energy. And there's a lot of relief now that both of these projects have been completed. And now we can focus on looking forward. And I'm excited about that, he continued. Yeah. So now the fact is they got this out there. He says he's feeling excited about it. He's been able to tell a story. He's been holding back for so long. Again, if you watch the Netflix special, which we did, uh, watched it all, both parts. Yep sat through it it starts off you know it's like his life her life how they come together via instagram how which i think is okay someone sets you up someone sets you up this is this instagram story i'm not buying oh she had a little doggy face and you know and, and then i was like oh she's cute let's get together you know she didn't know who he was she said Whatever. So they, they play the love story. And to me, Ridiculous. I know, to, to me, like watching the love story itself, I'm like, you know, it's the way they set it up. Netflix does a good job putting this together. Like you feel for them for a little bit. It's like, okay. And then they get into the family and like how the dynamic changed with her there. And to me, though, they had everything. Like when I'm watching you, I'm like, they have everything. And, and now you're going out of your way to like shit on your family when honestly, yes, the media is corrupt there. I will say that it's not right. But, but, there's a trade-off because the taxpayers are paying all their bills. There's money going to the royal family, and they have a deal with the public with the, with all the different papers. All this there's like a whole conglomerate of all these different papers that all work together to cover the royal family. It's just part of the job. I mean, you grew up, you you were born into the royal family. That's part of the job. Now, okay. Now she could have not married him because she knew what she was getting herself into. He knew what his life was getting into. That's one thing. Now, now, if you feel like you're being harassed and you're being suppressed and there's, worry, there's, there's problems with your mother you know, before he lost his mother due to paparazzi and you're fear, you fear for your life, then your family should have your back. They should. But, you know, he calls his brother his, like, arch rival right now. What do you think about that, Sabrina? He's, like, going off by his family, he says that after this all came out, they've cut him off. They don't even want to talk to him. He thought that maybe they could have a healing process now where they could talk again. Family is not responding to him. He says his brother's his arch rival. Do you think his brother has grounds to be like that? Or do you think his family should talk to him again? I mean, you watched the whole special. I mean, I don't, I mean, uh, special aside, like, I don't, I don't think the special was anything special, if you will. Um, (laughs) The book, you know, there's a lot of things in the book that I I think probably shouldn't be in the book. Um, I don't think all of that information was necessary. Um, Like there's some weird stuff in there like you know he addresses his drug use and he said something about he peed his pants before he went on his first date with Meghan Markle and like there's just a lot of stuff in there that like you I don't I don't really really see what the I don't see what the point is honestly um now that being said there is a story to be told from his point of view it's called spare because he's a spare heir to the throne he's the second son He's only to become king if um, William's whole family dies, his children, him, his wife. If everyone dies, then Harry would become king. Um, So it's a thing in the monarchy that there is a spare heir. So he was treated differently. He was raised differently than William was. Um, And he does have this 
paralyzing issue with the paparazzi because of his mother um, and how she died. And, you know, he was younger, took it harder. You know, like it's a, I, I feel for him. I, I really truly do. Um, and I just, the way that the Royal family is the way that the monarchy is like, there are just things that you don't do. There's protocol. And if you break that protocol, there are consequences, period. Like that's just, it's how it is. It's like, it's like, you know, shit that goes on here with our government. That's fucking stupid as shit, but you can't change it because that's the way it is. You know what I mean? Like, because the framers in 1776 decided this is how it's going to be. That's how it is. It's fucking ridiculous. But it's the same way with the monarchy. And there's only little changes that can be made. Like the queen, you know, allowed him to marry her, even though she's divorced. That was a whole thing. You can not marry someone that was divorced, um, which was yeah. the whole thing with Camilla and, and, and Prince Charles, because they were in love and, but she couldn't, he couldn't marry her because she was divorced. Like, it's just, there's, you know, and she, she allowed like certain things and like, you know, broke down on the rules like a little bit, but you can't just go buck wild. And honestly, the, the documentary didn't, make me like either of them anymore. Like, I, I feel like she <laughs> kind of has him pussy whooped and kind of made him do all of these things, which is sad. And I feel like she's complaining horribly about her super rich, fancy life that she doesn't have to support. You know what I mean? Like she, they, they were in Tyler Perry's house for free in, in Montecito or whatever. Like she's, she was living in, in England for free. They were paid to go on tours and help people. Like how great would that be if someone paid you to be a philanthropist, to go around and like, and help, you know, cultures that like needed things, like to help people who are starving, to help people, you know, who are impoverished, like to, to be a role model and, and, and help people and, and get paid to do it. And like, you know, they send you on a private jet with your family and you go and you you help people and then you go yeah. somewhere else on your private jet and you go and help people. And you know what I mean? And then you come home and you your house is paid for. And like, I mean, I, I it's like, I mean, talk about first world problems like, oh, I'm so sorry that you're so super rich and everything's paid for. But like, you know, the paparazzi wants to see you when you go out of the house. That's part of the job. Yeah, it's part you know of what the I mean? job. It's also the same thing as being a celebrity. If she went anywhere now in california people are going to take pictures of her that's what paparazzi does like ask then, any star anything look at tmz that's what they that's all they do is drive around and take pictures of people and talk shit you know what i mean so it's whether it's in england it's the royalty and here it's celebrities and you left england royalty to be an american celebrity so i don't really see how you're so happy and at peace now it's like i don't i just don't get it i think it was like I don't know. I, I just think it was too much and unnecessary and it caused a lot of stress, you know, for the monarchy and for Queen Elizabeth. And I mean, it's just, I don't, I don't know. And she just passed away. I feel like it's just, very, it's, I mean, I'm glad she wasn't alive for it, I guess, because she probably would be fucking horrified at all of yeah. these things. But I do, I do believe that he has the right. Well, she to saw a lot of it piece. though. She yeah, still but not saw this a lot book. of it. Not this yeah. book. Or this well, I think he waited. I think they, I think they waited. Be, you know, I mean, maybe I, they I were sitting so. on it. I would hope so too. But I, but I, I agree with you. The, the Meghan Markle thing, like she, if she, you know, she was a celebrity. You know, that's a, you know, she was on Suits, so a celebrity. You know, she's been working. The thing is, she chose a career as an actor. So if you choose a, a career as an actor, you know that you're going to be in the limelight all the time. People are going to be looking for you, taking pictures, just like you said. So, like to me, if you're going to marry, you know an heir to the throne like you know what the job is you know what it is to be in the limelight you know what it is to have people looking after you know what that is with documentaries sometimes i feel like it was almost set up where they're like oh do you see that behind us they're they're taking pictures of yeah. us do you, do you do you see do you see that guy on that rooftop do you see him you know what i mean a lot it of just it seems, seemed contrived yeah a lot of it did and i'm like come on like honestly that's part of the job and most actors deal with it. And the, I think the good actors can like the good celebrities are able to be able like, this is fine. This is just all part of the job. And they smile and they wave, you know, that's all I do is wave. And it, you make it worse when you don't do that shit, you make it worse. Now they're going to be chasing after you. And like, that's, and, and, and bad things can happen. But to me, they just really should have, I don't know. They should have, for me, she should have been smarter about this. I feel like you have everything in the world and they were set up in a way where 
I mean, like, like Sabrina said, first world problems. Anything you want, they they say they want to help people out, which they have been. And like he was taking all these these trips where he was going out by himself to uh, help out these people in a different country. And then she went with him and then they were able to give back to them. They were able to use the crown to actually give uh, help out people in ways that no one else has done in the family. And there was a big problem where they were actually, uh, they were actually going after, um, uh, well, I guess, I guess his sister-in-law was upset because people liked him more and he's not the heir to the throne. His brother is. So they had problems like that too, which is interesting like you are apparently liked more you, the, the the queen apparently liked megan she was fine with her so like why is there all these problems i don't i just don't understand like you know the job you know what it is you have every well, opportunity he's this saying that they were feeding me. bad stories to the press to make the press yeah. turn on megan well, there was because a whole they story. liked megan and harry more than they liked william and kate basically yep and then he was saying that his brother was leaking stuff or the one thing that was kind of interesting in the whole documentary was about there was a, an email that was sent to charles that leaked and it was like one of those things like who who leaked it he was either charles or it was like charles assistant you know so it's like maybe that maybe charles was leaking stuff about them too because he didn't like it you know, they, they were they were changing the whole dynamic of the crown. And it, maybe people don't like that, you know. But, but you know, the thing is, his brother, his brother and him, like your brothers, you can fight and all that. But they should be able to, at the end of the day, get along somehow. And his brother, his brother's going to be king. Like, what's he get? He's not going to fuck that up. You're, I mean, he's got the weight of his shoulders. The whole crown is on his shoulders, you know. So he's got to walk the walk and and step the step. And, you know, and, and, and Harry didn't have to do that. And so Harry didn't. Yeah, I mean, he, but he does have to. He he does have to do it. He's still right. a prince. Like you still don't he behave is. the way that he behaved. You still and like the other the other thing that really pissed me off too is that she on camera in this documentary pretends like she had no idea what the fucking British monarchy was. Like she had no idea yeah. that you had to bow to the queen and like no like it's like bitch, please. You like you now. I mean, literally, you have to live under a fucking rock to not have seen any coverage anywhere ever of the royal family. Like literally living under a fucking rock. I don't seek it out, but it's everywhere. Like there's no way that you have never seen, unless, you know, you're an idiot and like you don't choose to uh, engage in anything. I mean, like there's videos of presidents, world leaders meeting the queen. There's videos of like the, all of their weddings. There's like all, I mean, there's so many times the monarchy has been in our, in American media. So I don't know what kind of bullshit you're trying to sell that you didn't know that you had to bow or curtsy to the freaking queen. Like, let's be real. She's like, yeah. what? What do you mean? I have to curtsy? That's crazy. It's like, bitch, please. It's, I don't, I, it's insane to me. And I, it, I don't, I, I'm wedding? glad he's happy. What? How about that wedding? Oh, I know the wedding was insane. You have like, such a huge wedding and it's like, the, the the fairy tale There's wedding. people in the streets, like thousands wearing and thousands and thousands gowns. of people lining the streets wearing. I mean, that's how much. That's what a big deal the monarchy is yeah. there, you know. And he kind of shit on it a bit, and then it's he expects them to call him back and be like, "Oh, everything's cool." But like, I mean, it's gonna take some time. And also, he said that he hopes that they can talk and that that can be private. When you just aired all of the dirty laundry to yeah. everyone in the world. And then you want the conversation between you and your brother and you and your father to be private. That's kind of ballsy. Yeah. I do like him. I do believe he was, he, you know, he was raised differently and treated differently and, you know, kind of always felt second best and had a lot of issues and was, you know, less prepared or let, took it, didn't take it as well as the brother, like dealing with, William, with his emotions yeah. with losing his mother, you know, but at the same time, I, I think it's like very, very, very presumptuous. Um, and he, there's so much good to he assume done. that people are going to watch it and be like, oh, well, we love you guys now. It's so perfect. I, I totally understand why you did what you did. There's so much it's, more good that they could have done together. still being involved. I know. Too. And they were, they were trash talking the house that they lived in too. Like their free house. Yeah. Their, little, yes. their cottage. She was like, you think it's going to, you think it's like a castle because it's called like whatever the fuck it was called. Something castle. And she's like, but it was just yeah. like an apartment. I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm sorry that you're, you had a free apartment. Like that's insane. Like yeah. just stop. It's ridiculous. The whole just, thing is ridiculous. It's yeah. She wanted the. I think when she got into it, she thought it was going to be like a lot more glamour than it was. I think that's kind of what it came down to, and it wasn't what she expected to be. And then you know, and he like he said in the documentary, like she gave up her whole life for me. Now I'm giving up my whole life for her. 
And it's, to me, it didn't have to be that way. It really didn't. No. It doesn't seem like it the way it played out. It, and even the drama that's there, it doesn't even seem like it's really there. Like they're talking about her, her child being, a, a, what color is her child going to be? And it's like, they won't say who said that, but they'll say everything else that's dirty. You know what I mean? So like, okay, well, clearly I bet nobody ever said that. But you never know. Like, you know, you you see how white he is too. And she, I, whatever, whatever. So I just think that it's just, it's just insane to me that they're fighting right now over this and that they got to this point and he shouldn't have let it happen. He should have been able to talk to his family about it I don't know about, about this racist shit, honestly. Like they let him marry her. her. They got the yeah. blessing for him to marry and her. The queen I don't loved see. Him and loved yeah. her. I don't, was, I don't see how that is a thing. Like I, if, I really don't. But yeah, if, at there, the if same there was an issue, it would have happened. Be, they wouldn't have been able to get married. The, the queen would have said, "You cannot yeah. marry her," and then that would have been that. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I he probably would have married her anyway, and all this would have happened sooner. But yeah. you know, it, it is what it is. I just, but they were, they were I, I, I do to feel him. for him. You know, it's just, it is what it is. You know, and hopefully. His kids I, I say, feel for him. I do not feel for her personally, honestly. I, I feel, and, I feel know. for him too. I mean, uh, he lost his mother at a young age, being torn from his family now. Everything that he's known and loved and grown up in his country, he left it all behind, and it's tough. And he's in love, and that's what it happens when you're in love. Sometimes, just shit falls apart, not the way we're expecting. I just to be. hope they're very happy and that you know they remain not everybody that can way. Be, and... Not everybody can be excited about the love you have and can support you the way that you expect them to support you. That's just. That's just life sometimes, unfortunately. But I hope the best for them. I hope the best for him. They have a, they have a couple kids. I almost feel like the kids are going to want to go back, and that'll be an interesting chapter that we'll talk about someday, where his kids are like, well, I could be a, a prince and a princess? <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? I can see that being an issue. But you never know. What do you think about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? Like I said, when Harry met Meghan, this drama began. And who knows when it'll end? I'm telling you, not anytime soon.